I have to do the video on installing DaVinci Resolve. Yeah. But there's a way to do it depending on if you're in Fedora, if you're in Ubuntu, if you're in uh, yeah. Arch. So I gotta like get. It's gonna be a, one of those videos that's gonna take a while. Mm. And like I have to do part two of a jellyfin guide that that I said I would do. So yeah, I got and I actually have it on Nextcloud where it's like these things where I could put it from a to do, doing done, ah, yep, like yep, a deck yep. thing. And the to do is like you could scroll for a little bit. On <laughs> that's the one good thing though is with the type of content we make it's very hard to run out of things i'm That's sure you're, the issue in this. yeah i'm sure you're at the point as well where people suggest stuff and the list is basically self-perpetuating like it, yeah I could, it will never grow shorter no matter what you do no no like even like i have a discord server that has a chat like a chat room that's just suggestions yeah, yeah. and i could just go on that and scroll and find something in a couple seconds that mm. I could do a video on. It's, yeah. And that's and without like, even considering, them... like, just doing whatever news stuff shows up. Yeah. Yeah, that works, too. The, the like, the one that I was just last suggested, somebody wants to know the difference between, like, uh, Bash and ZSH and Fish mm. and all those. But that's one of the reasons why I like doing this. Completely no. Mm-hmm. And then that forces me to learn it, and then I have to learn it enough to the point where I can actually talk about it and know what I'm talking about. You just wing it. You see what happens. See if it <laughs> yeah, but... you out. <laughs> There's some of the vi- like I-, I wing some videos, but it's usually if I already have a yeah yeah. Like if I tried to wing a video talking about fish, mm. uh, I would look like a complete idiot. Like if you did a video on like Caden Live, for example, you could. It, you were just talking oh, about yeah. generally using Caden Live. You, you've used enough at this point where it's fine. Yeah, I, I, I could make a 25 minute video on Caden Live with no, like, if I hit record right now, mm. I could just go. Because that's. I use that thing so much. Even before I was. Uh, it was my alternative when I was doing, like, just, like, little clips mm. of completely unrelated things for, like, family and all that. I, that's, I've been using Caden Live forever. Mm mm. But I still like to venture resolve a little bit better, but like we said earlier, it has its faults. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I I've had issues with Caden Live in the past. Um uh, some versions were just not stable. Um uh, mm-hmm. it, it's gotten really good nowadays. I haven't had any problems with any of the versions recently, but yeah. I mainly use Olive at this point. I want Olive to be good. It's just <laughs> it's very alpha. Yeah, I've I've tr- used all all of in a couple videos and in the, like i would like it to be good as well i can see where it like in two years probably yeah it's gonna be a wonderful video editor there's just one dude working on it though really that's there's it? one yeah the the dude's a youtuber as well so it's not like he's just dedicating all his time to working on olive yeah yeah but i can see how because it kind of follows the same kind of node structure with some of the effects and animations and things you want to do as uh, DaVinci Resolve mm. does. And that's an incredibly professional video editing application. But um, yeah, with Caden Live, you, as of recent, I haven't that a lot of people used to have with like the random crashing or anything like that. And if it does, they do, it's really good with recovering. Yeah, yeah. So if I'll it does it crash and it pulls it up. The issues I've been having with Caden Live are when I have effects. Like, sometimes it just works perfect and I don't have an issue, but there'll be times where, like, I'll bring the little credit things with the Patreon names. Yeah, and, yeah. And during the transition slide or the fade, the screen's just black for three seconds. Yeah. I'm like, oh, nice. So then I gotta go back and, and, the, and then I'll, like, move the clip, like, three frames over mm. and re-render it and it'll work. So it's just little things like that. I do my uh, YouTube shorts in Caden Live just because Olive doesn't have all the stuff I need it to do. Uh, mm-hmm. So I will crop my video and my game and then also like resize it to fit in like the vertical layout. Yeah. Sometimes it just doesn't apply the effect or it'll apply the effect yeah, wrong. No. Yeah, it, for cutting, Caden Live is beautiful. Mm. But you, you'll have to, if you use it on a consistent basis, you'll find yourself re rendering. Every once in a while, yep. for sure. 
And yeah, the same thing happened to me because I I don't do shorts too often, but mm. like the last one I did was a, a boot speed thing, top and bottom. Yeah, yeah. And I brought in the names and they just flashed in instead of the slide and things like that happen a lot. And another thing that happens, I'm not sure if it happens to you, but when you're cutting just like regular footage, mm. if you cut too close to an audio wave, uh, I'll get these like loud, like chirp, like right once it goes over the cut. Mm. That happens to me a lot. I can't sure say I've seen that one before. Yeah, I did. It where I was like basically saying why I like DaVinci Resolve, complaining about Caden Live, where I was scrubbing over it and going eh, 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 over the. I played it. <laughs> that though. Man, these audio <laughs> issues are a pain in the ass. I haven't had these for so long. Oh, me? Yeah. I didn't hear any of that last bit. There we go. <laughs> oh, other... Yeah. And uh, other than some things like that, those are the only issues that I've had with Caden Live. Right, right. But they're substantial enough that they're super annoying. Yeah. Especially if, like... I'm like, especially recently because I just started school. Like, I'll render a video and I'll have five minutes before I have to leave, and I'll skim through real quick, and they'll be in the show like, and then I gotta hit re-render, and then like I had a video that I it was like a sponsored one that I said I'd have up in a certain time, uh. so I had to re-render it, but I had to go to school. Mm -hmm. So on my computer screen, I left the window open and i left youtube open in the upload page mm. i had to call my fiance can you click on the file and get over to the other window like i had to have her upload it for me <laughs> oh, <laughs> because Lord. of a feed and live rendering issue <laughs> i luckily don't have that limited amount of time um like i i work nights so if i you know forget to upload something beforehand i'll just do it at midnight or so yeah. And because, uh, like, time zones and stuff, like, it's not a big deal. I just schedule stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I need to start scheduling things. That's my big problem right now. It'll, it'll real. When I started scheduling videos, honestly, it, it felt so freeing. Like, I don't yeah. have to worry about it when it needs to go up. <laughs>